a Silent Hill 2, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's nothing of interest here, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ahem. <clears throat> Uh, yes, we're in the hospital. In the hospital. Do I have a fucking... Did I... Oop. Did I already look at this? Jack Davis. Yes, okay. I've looked at all of this. Um. Do I have a map? Did I pick up the map? I did. Oh, great. Oh. <laughs> oh, I kind of remember now. I kind of remember this, uh... This level. Kind of. A little bit. I remember being incredibly lost. Different kinds of memos are hanging up, but there's nothing of particular interest. Oh, very observant of you, James. I remember getting all kinds, all kinds of lost when I first played this. I recognized the map because I looked at it so goddamn often. Where the, what the, is that a thing I could pick up? Yeah, different types of papers and documents, there's nothing of interest, but there's, is there anything Anything useful here? Hey, 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 gotta go, gotta go through. So this was not an exit. This is just a closet. I don't want to be in the closet. Closet's the worst place to be. It's best to be out of the closet as long as it's, you know, safe. Oh my god, I am so bad at video games, guys. My apologies. Turning into a whole ass dark side fill over here with how bad I am at video games. Where are you planning to go? But we uh, haven't found Laura yet. Oh, uh. Right. That's right. We gotta go find, uh, uh, Laura. Oh, yeah, that's why we're here. Because Laura ran here. Laura being the little piece of shit girl that, uh, stepped on my hand and shit. Okay, so there's the vent into the room. Oh my god, it's all locked. What am I to do? Oh, damn it. That means I'm gonna have to come back here. Lock is broken, I can't open it. That's an, that looks like an elevator, though. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, is that the bathroom? Let's go to the bathroom. Let's, let's see if there's anything in the bathroom. Anytime I go in the bathroom in a Silent Hill game, I usually find something. Alright, so that one's locked. What about this one? This one's also locked. Damn it! Now I can't check the bathroom for bath for toilet bullets. They're the best kind of bullets. The bullets you find in the toilet. Yep, everything's locked. That's what these games are about. Just everything's locked. Uh, yep, yep. Oh boy, gotta love it. Gotta love it. All the places that we can't go. Ho oh, hum. Yep, nope, nope, shit's locked. It's all locked. Oh, this is the elevator. But the elevator, the elevator does not move. Did you guys see that? I know I did. That's why I read it out loud. So, uh, yeah. This shit's creepy, making a bunch of creepy noises. Yeah, we can all get behind that. There are lots of things I can get behind. Yeah, you know, you guys know how much I like to get behind things. <laughs> oh my god. I don't like hospitals. You know, I kind of, they kind of freak me out. Like, uh, I, I don't like hospitals. I've been, I've been to the hospital so many times. Often not for myself, often for other people. And I just, okay, so this is the room I came out of. I just really don't like them. I just don't like them. They're not, not fun places to be. Uh, for anybody, I don't think. Alright, so I just went in a big ass circle. Okay, cool. So I went there. Oh, I didn't try the other door to the kitchen. It's probably locked, but I just, I can't leave an area without trying every single door. It's not, I just can't. Oh, okay, I can't even go that way. That would be why I couldn't check that door. Oh, sorry! Sorry, didn't mean to do that. Sorry. Okay, so, uh, queso is delicious. Let's go this way. <laughs> uh, it's been nice being able to eat foods that I like again. Oh, great. I, that's the kind of noise I like to hear is. Yep. 
Yep. Hey, I'm not sure if I like the fact that that door opened. Guess it just means more potential for me to get spooked. And I'm just a little baby, little baby bitch boy who doesn't want to be spooked. All right, so I can't go anywhere else on this floor. So yeah, I'll go ahead upstairs, I guess. Or can I go downstairs to the basement? Nope, it's just a- Oh no, there is a stairs down. Let's, let's see where, how deep this rabbit hole goes, shall we? Not very, because it's blocked off. Okay, good to know. Good to know. <laughs> How's my health doing? It's late. I'm tired. I'm tired. I've had a long day. A very long day, in fact. Went on two walks and all that. Get my get my 10,000 steps in and all that. I'm doing good. I'm doing good. I'm being good on my diet. I'm remaining. I've remained in a calorie deficit most days. Not every day. I'm taking it. I'm taking this portion of my diet much more casually. Oh, the famous nurses of Silent Hill. Here we are. Gonna just. Oh, that is an awful noise. Oh, oh, okay. Hey, yep, yep. And now, as you can see, for those of you who don't know about Silent Hill 2, my uh, depiction of the nurses in the thumbnail is not a lie. Look at those outfits, man. So yes, yes. Uh, big theme, big theme in the Silent Hill 2 appears to be James dealing with psychosexual issues, you know? And that's quite a heavy theme for a goddamn video game, you know? It's, uh, extremely mature. And, uh, I personally think the game handles it well. I, uh, it's weird to say that I would like to see more games handle serious themes like this. Um, the problem is, I would want them to do it well, and I have a feeling that most games wouldn't. So I understand why more of them don't exist. Um, I don't want to get too far into the, too deep into the themes, uh, one, because I have yet to actually brush up on my lore and what the current consent community consensus of the silent hill 2 themes are uh but also just because i want to avoid any spoilers for those who don't know don't know the twist um but uh so without spoiling anything uh james kind of feels guilty about certain feelings he was having about people outside of his marriage while his wife was sick and that may have included nurse, nursing staff. Because, uh, you know, ow. Nurses are very often sexualized in many cultures as any, any, you know, any woman with a more maternal-esque role like a hospice nurse or a maid or something. I'd call that maternal. I, I'm probably being a little insensitive calling it maternal, but you know what I mean. Traditional tradition, like, traditional 1950s view on the roles of women. Uh, a lot of women who, um, oh, a lot of women who are in those roles are heavily sexualized in multiple cultures across the world. Hold on a second. I got a phone call I need to take. And we're back. Sorry about that. My mom was just dropping off some dumplings. White chrism. Milky white anointing oil. I haven't... I don't need that yet. And we're back. And what was I talking about? Oh, right. The sexualization of women in uh, caretaker roles. Caretaker was a much better word than maternal. Anyway, yes. And so it's very... It, 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 it happens in many cultures. And, um, you know, 
our, our, our boy James Sunderland here is feeling a little bit guilty of finding some hot nurses sexy. You know, it, it's, it's, it's understandable because, you know, his wife's sick. Like, sick with, like, a terminal illness sick and uh, probably can't have sex with him anymore. Which, like, sucks. It really sucks when stuff like that happens. Mm. Having some, some caffeine here, and you know it. It's easy to see why a husband would feel guilty about having these kinds of sexual feelings towards other women, while his wife is sick. It's also perfectly reasonable for husbands to have these sexual feelings towards other women when he can't have sex with his own wife. Um, you know, you're only a, you're only an asshole. You're not an asshole for having these kinds of feelings. You're only an asshole for acting on them, you know, and cheating on your wife. Um, which, as far as I'm aware, is unclear if that happened or not. It's left ambiguous. Like, a lot of this... A lot of this is pretty ambiguous and up to interpretation, but this is just kind of... This is just kind of what, uh... What, uh... What, uh... What the general consensus is regarding this game's themes. Like, you can't get as... Speci like I don't, it, I don't think it ever gets specific enough or like spells out that James was definitely cheating. But he clearly is having, like the the monsters he is facing are all incredibly sexualized and are. It's clearly like showing that he is like the demons he is dealing with are sexual in nature. Fuck off. <laughs> Fucking bitch. Wow, they do a lot of damage. Holy crap. And you know, you guys know me. I like to stay healed, but I don't like using these health drinks as soon as I pick them up. I gotta get better at killing them, I guess. Killing off the urges, James. Gotta kill off the urges. Or if you give in to them, you're no better than the rest of us sinners, James. Shotgun shells. Oh, yeah, I picked some up earlier, didn't I? I guess I didn't make a big deal about it, but you guys know what that means. We're going to be getting a shotgun, and you do, you guys know that uh, your boy here, your boy here, loves himself a good shotgun. I've actually been in the market for uh, a shotgun. Um, after certain things in the neighborhood have happened. And, um, yeah, I'm probably gonna go with a, uh, Maverick 88. Because you can get, you can get, what they're like 200 bucks and you get two barrels. And it's a shotgun, so ammunition is cheap. Um, and, uh, I'm thinking after that, I would purchase a handgun. Um, but that's all gotta be, there's, there are levels to this. I can't just, like, my living situation in a small apartment with a child. I can't just, oop, I can't just, uh, buy a gun and just that be the end of it. No, I need to figure out a good way to store it. Um, a way that's safe. Uh, a way that's safe and will keep it out of the hands of the child, but also, but also still like, reachable in case of an emergency, and that's ex incredibly difficult to do in such a small living space. Um, both because it's, like, difficult to hide, and there are not, there are not many layers between, you know, where I po would potentially store the weapon and where a potential danger would come from. So it's, it's a, I still gotta think about it before I get one. I'm just kind of excited. Guns are fun. Mm -mm -mm. Have I already been in here? 
Yes, I believe I have. It's the other door I need to the other door I need to go into. Man, the fact that it doesn't cross off the just plain white paper. Wait, what? So there's nothing written on it. My goodness. Nothing to say about the creepy typewriter in the hospital for some reason. Again, kind of unclear when these games take place on purpose, but like... How long ago was it that typewriters were a common thing in hospitals? I... Like... Typewriters, you know? Computers came out in the... Com computers came out in the fucking 70s is when they started having widespread use, you know? So I'm just... I'm... A little bewildered at the presence of a goddamn typewriter. Okay, so I think I've explored all the doors here. And there's nothing for me. So it's time to go up the stairs more, I think? Or explore, actually no, explore the floor more. Yeah. Yeah, it's time to explore the floor more. Do dippity do do zippity a my oh my what a wonderful day up oh. oh god hold on hold on I don't want to I don't want to deal with this right now okay okay now I do want to deal with it all right let's take a look at the map where am I okay okay cool cool cool. Elevator still doesn't work on this floor. That's good, I get. Oh, fuck! Oh. Fucking got me! Silent Hill doesn't really have jump scares like that. Oh my god. Whew. But yeah, no, the, the sexy legged mannequin with two butts? Yeah! Especially with one of the butts facing you? Yeah, yeah, no, the, like. This game is filled to the brim with sexual themes, you know? It's it's definitely, it's like, it's not something that you can really say is, oh, that's just up to interpretation. No! This is a sexual game with sexual themes, and it, it's clear that James is bothered by it. Um, you know, it's a, th it's a thing. It's ob- that, that so far is obvious. And what exactly is his issue, uh, what exactly are his issues with sex? Is up for debate, but like he, he clearly has an issue with it. And I think right now the current consensus is that it's guilt for having sexual feelings towards other women because his, his, you know he can't have sex with his wife. So it's a per like I said, those kinds of thoughts. Even if your wife can have sex with you, even if they're, you're having sex regularly with your wife, it's still normal to have sexual feelings about other women. And the equal opposite is true. If uh, it's perfect, it's perfectly normal for a wife to have sexual feelings towards other men, other women. You know, all of the all of the different um, all the different flavors of sexual attraction towards those who are not your significant other or spouse is normal. Um, you know, human beings can be monogamous, like in terms of their relationships, but we're not, we're not, our, our thoughts and feelings are definitely not monogamous. The, the difference, the, the difference that between what makes you an asshole and what makes you not an asshole and just normal is whether or not you act on said feelings. You know, and different relationships can have different flavors. You can have non-monogamous relationships, and that's fine, as long as everybody is on the same level. Uh, cheating is when inside the pocket of the white lab jacket. That's what I was looking for. I knew that there was something in here. God damn it! Um, you know, just the, it, it becomes cheating when you're not on the same level. It becomes cheating when you know you have an established. You have an established, um, an established, uh, rhythm to the relationship, an established rule set to the relationship, and you're purposefully breaking that, breaking those rules to seek, uh, to seek validation, to seek sexual gratification 
from people outside of that relationship that is not previously agreed upon. Why isn't... Come on. Come on. Why aren't you... There we go. Got a shotgun! Oh, hell yeah. Why, why is he not... There we go. Jesus Christ. Sorry. Ow. What's wrong? I just pricked myself. Mm. Are you okay? Yeah. Bent needle. 